And finally, now you wouldn't know it by looking at my mug, but the rise of the beard seems unstoppable. In Europe and elsewhere, bearded bohemians are taking over, with increasing numbers of men looking like that, letting their face fur grow wild. Berlin is no exception to the trend, and a new exhibition in the city is showcasing some of the best facial follicles in history. It seems like there's a shortage of razors in Berlin right now. The city's men are embracing beards. The key to Berlin's beard craze is looking unkempt, but not too unkempt. The city's barbershops are full of men trying to make sure they've just the right amount of scruff. It's all too easy to wake up in the morning and fall out of bed and go to work with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and do nothing to your face, but you'd be better off just, well, Living in a cave, really. Cavemen length beards, 1920s style moustaches. Facial hair is a symbol of masculinity, and it's a way for men in Berlin to show off their personal style. But that's nothing new. An exhibition here features some of history's most famous beards and some vintage grooming technology. On show is a teacup made especially for men with moustaches. And the exhibition revisits King Charles of England's beard. He let it get out of control after Parliament fired his hairdresser. The best thing about it is that just 50 years later, Tsar Peter the Great of Russia introduced a beard tax to crack down on facial hair. He ordered his subjects to shave. These days, a tax on beards would bring in a lot of money for Berlin's rulers and confiscating profits from companies that make men's grooming products even more. Because beards are the new norm. The new norm? Well, you heard that. I promised to tweet some pictures tomorrow of the time when I did have a beard. For all of us here, including Daniel, the man with the goatee, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.